The new Intel Arc A380 graphics card showed a strong performance in synthetic benchmarks and, according to Intel, it's 25% better than RX 6400 in relation to the price of both of these cards. However, notice how the benchmark does not provide any clue of its 25% faster claim than RX 6400. Luckily, 3D Center came forward to put Intel's claim to the test, and it turns out, Arc A380 might not be as fast as the early reports suggested. Firstly, notice that the price per yuan that Intel claimed is not accurate. The actual difference came out to around 21%. In addition, the real trouble lies in graphical power. While we all thought the A380s was 25% faster, it's only about 4% faster than the RX 6400. The site also put the specs of these two graphics cards side by side. As you can see from here, while both graphics cards are built on the same 6 nanometer process, A380 has more transistors and chip area. Aside from that, it has better hardware, memory expansion, TDP, and video encoder support. So, it's shocking to see the performance achieved by the A380 is only slightly better than the RX 6400. This evaluation actually pushed 3D Sender to reconsider its expectation from all the upcoming Intel Arc GPUs. The revisited graphical output suggests that the top of the line Arc GPU is slightly worse than the RTX 3060 Ti. In our previous video, we estimated the performance of the Arc A380 should be better than the GTX 1650. This is still true because if you look at the relative performance of the RX 6400, we can see that the GTX 1650 performs 3% better. Therefore, it's easy to conclude that the Arc A380 will perform at least 1% better than 1650. Moreover, looking at the specs, Arc A380 has better hardware in almost every aspect including clock speed, VRAM, memory speed, and more. On paper, Intel Arc A380 looks both promising and offers better value than RX 6400 and 1650. It's cheaper and has better hardware. However, total graphics power is not on that level which we all were expecting. Now, obviously we can't take these data for face value. There's still a lot of work Intel can do through driver support, but we have to keep in mind that while performance is the most important pillar, availability and pricing are also crucial regarding graphics cards. The A380 is only available in China and has no official release date or MSRP for global launch. So, we won't be surprised if gamers will look for the RTX 30 or RX 6000 series instead. These GPUs are now reaching below MSRP and not to mention the fact that we are probably 3 months before the next gen GPU drops. So what do you think of this new GPU? Was it a smart move from Intel? Or it failed to live up to everyone's expectations? We would love to hear from you guys down in the comments section below. So that was all about today's comparison of the Intel Arc A280 with RX 6400 and GTX 1650. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon if you want to see more videos like this on your feed.